hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video clearly i'm trying to stay as positive as possible because i kid y'all not this is like my fourth time trying to film this video and as much as i just don't want to film it anymore i'm still going to because i feel like it's necessary to but today we're going to be doing an updated makeup routine we me today i'm going to be doing an updated makeup routine i don't know what made me think but i thought i had like three videos of my makeup routine and i really only have one since that makeup routine a lot has changed so i just want to show y'all the upgrade <laughs> But yeah, let's go ahead and get started because I do look busted. But it's also crackhead hours. Like, Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.31 a.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I should really be asleep because I have work tomorrow. You got to do what you got to do. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started because I think I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. All I'm going to do is conceal them. I'm not going to do it on camera because they end up looking really the same. Um, I'm just going to do it as an extra set because my eyebrows are super bushy right now. I haven't gone to get them done and I shall be back. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. Like I said, I don't add no product to them because we already know my eyebrows are hairy as dark as They just look a little bit sharper, I guess. Honestly, sometimes I just want to go bald. Next day up. Also, 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 also. A big step for me to get, like, the good base is I shave my face with, like... Y'all know, one of them face razors. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I'll put a picture. I use one of those face razors to shave my face because I do have a lot of peach fuzz. Not now, but I feel like shaving my face just makes me get the perfect base. Well, I'm gonna use my Ordinary Moisturizer. This is hella busted and it's probably expired because, yeah. I think I used this in my last updated makeup routine. I think that was a year ago or two years ago. But I still use it anyways because we already bought it and... We're not gonna waste money over here. I didn't even know crema could go bad, honestly, but... Ni modo. Also, if y'all see me looking this way, it's because my mirror is right here. So. And then I used my Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. Look at this thing. She's so cute. She's so tiny. I got this in my birthday gift at Sephora last year and I barely use it but this thing smells really good and I just get a little bit more of this. I don't always moisturize with both. It really just depends on like the day and if my skin feels drier on certain days and I will use two moisturizers just because I don't want my skin to be dry and then like all my makeup to f*** up. Y'all know what I mean? I don't know if y'all have tried La Crema Pons. It does have the same consistency. It just smells different. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is my fourth time filming this video and all three times I forgot to put freaking primer but next i put my elf power grip primer everyone knows everyone was writing with this primer and y'all just know i had to write with and i kind of focus it more on my cheeks than anywhere else and primer is key well this primer is key at least because i remember before this primer i didn't used to use no primer because i honestly didn't see a difference but this makes your makeup stick not sponsored for real but next i'm gonna go ahead and use my elf halo glow liquid filter y'all already know tiktok put me on tiktok puts everyone on everything and they never disappoint like okay and i'm gonna just blend this out using my real techniques in the number 200 i got this from ross but i'm pretty sure you can get them from like ulta Oh my god, one thing I do want to tell y'all is that product on my forehead, I never put too much because for some reason if I put a lot of product on my forehead, it ends up looking crusty like with anything I put on it. And so I try to keep it minimal there. Look at the glow, y'all. Girl, she did not come to play. No, but this is a really good product, especially if you want to get that glowy finish. Like this is definitely for you. And even though I do like the matte finish look better, mmm. I feel like this doesn't really make a difference like it doesn't interfere with my matte makeup look because I end up putting powder on top of powder on top of powder on top of powder so it ends up coming together at the end anyways anyways next is foundation um for my foundation I use this Superstay Maybelline New York foundation in the shade 30H I used to use this one and this one is still my ride or die I don't know I was trying to figure out why I didn't like this foundation and I think it's because it just feels thick on my skin like I try to like it so much but no matter how many layers I put like I can put like one layer and it's still feels thick and i don't like that and this one if you know you know the girls who get it get it the girls who don't know that there's barely anything in here which is why i'm not using it i don't want to like talk on this because it's still good it's just thick on my skin like i wish it was a different consistency this brush is honestly really good like 10 out of 10 recommend I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my face using this fit me concealer in the shade 60 I put it where you would typically bronze but honestly for this to be a concealer and for me to use it as like bronzer it's really good like I find it crazy how you can just use things that aren't even for the thing that you're gonna use it for does that make any sense like and then I blend it out using this eco sanctuary brush you can get these brushes from like Ross or Marshalls <laughs> Thank you. 
I also try not to drag down too much, but I think it really just depends on like your face shape and what you like. Like, well, let's keep it a book. Now that we're looking real bronze, real tan. Next time I get my e.l.f. putty blush. I don't know what shade this is. It doesn't say but it's that. Oh my God, she looks hella crusty, but it's that color. I'm gonna use her and I get like this flat brush and I just tap it. I don't really know how I feel about this blush just because I feel like it doesn't really pop up on my skin. I feel like the pinks that I usually go for is like this pink, like darker pinks. And this one is kind of on the light side. And I get this puffy brush and I just blend it in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. You already know, TikTok made me do it again. I just put that on my areas where I wanna be highlighted. get this real techniques brush it's kind of like a fluffy brush just blend the edges foundation brush and just buff everything out to make sure i don't look crazy or whatever now it's time to set i'm gonna use two i use the fit me and then i use this one and i'm about to tell y'all why i use two so first i get my fit me and i kind of just set under my eyes just a little bit like not too much blend it out one more time and then i set like that and once I set just a little bit under my eyes, then that's whenever I set the rest of my face. My nose especially, I put hella powder because I don't want my nose to look like you can cook an egg on there. I make sure to set my nose real good. And then I put this away because we're not going to need it anymore. I get my Morphe powder. This is in the shade Brightening Pink. She's actually pink. Okay, now it's time to bronze with my Juvia's Place palette. I know it looks crazy, but y'all just need to trust the process because I promise I wouldn't let myself out the house looking like this, okay? Then I get this fluffy brush. It's also Eco Sanctuary. And I just blend. And then I'm gonna bronze my nose. And then I'm gonna cut my bronzer right here. Now that I look like a disaster, I'm going to wipe off the bake that I did at first. Okay, now I'm gonna get my Juvia's Place Blush Palette in Volume 4. And I'm gonna get this angled brush. I think this is also supposed to be a bronzer brush, but I use it for blush. I get this other br blush. It's called Blush Mellow. I get a little bit more of that, and I put it on top. Then I get my fluffy brush again and I just fluff it out, blend it out. While that's still sitting, I'm gonna get my telescopic mascara that way um, by the time I brush that off, I'm able to put my eyelashes on. I just put one coat, nothing crazy, nothing too crazy. It's just so that my eye, my falsies blend in with my lashes. <laughs> like that. And then I just take off this axis. If you thought for a second that I was gonna let myself go out looking that crazy, think again. 
and then i get the extra blush and i put it on my nose and my forehead and kind of everywhere i'm gonna put on my lashes and then i'll be back i'm gonna use these jubilee kiss lashes in case y'all were wondering but like one let's keep it one okay <laughs> okay this is the lashes you guys i look cross-eyed oh my god if y'all are interested in my lip combo, these are the products I use. I use this. This is a freaking eye pencil. These are both eye pencils actually because for some reason I thought these were both lip liners, but they're eye pencils, but I still use them anyways. Um, They're both brown. So I use both of these and I just outline my lips and then I get this one, the NYX soft matte lip creams y'all know about these they're good this is in the shade london and then i put this in the middle and then i put a little bit of my maybelline concealer in the middle just to make it a little bit more lighter and then for it to look matte i get this powder brush i get my morphe setting powder and i just and it makes it matte but most of the time i don't really wear lipstick don't patch me with lip gloss and i use this essence shine lip gloss honestly if it's lip gloss hand it over because i'm gonna use it i love lip gloss <gasps> no i'm forgetting the then y'all i was really about to end this video without putting highlight on my nose that's key i get this cute little brush um and then i get this anastasia setting loose setting hi loose highlighter and it's in the shade sunset aura i try to keep it as straight as possible but i think my nose is like broken or something because one of the bones is popping out let me take out these clips now but yeah you guys this is my updated makeup routine i know for a fact that it has changed from my last one never be scared to try new products because you never know if you're gonna like them this was it and i'll see y'all in my next one